The day before is a real game. All the haters out there cannot say it's not a real game anymore. Because they released it. They released something. They released it. But it, it was... It, yeah. It was... It's uh, it's not... It's f***ing terrible, actually. Just watch this. Do I shoot this guy? Fatal air. Imagine shooting an enemy and then your entire game just blows the f up. There's another little fun glitch. Yeah, I guess that's what you want to call it. Just just watch this one. This one's even better. There you go. What? Watch the screen. Where, where did Super <laughs> Nintendo work? Now open at Universal Studios Hollywood. <laughs> What? <laughs> what in the hell? <laughs> it's like a half. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't even know what that. I. You know what? I'm gonna be honest. That is a brand new one for me. I don't think I have ever seen a glitch like that or similar to that in a in a video game, literally ever. And I've been playing for 25 years, possibly longer. Never seen that before in my life. That is that is a brand new glitch. They actually invented a new glitch with this game that is impressive i'm gonna be honest that that is a world record right there oh you want to know something else that's funny fantastic is closing closing today we announced the closure of the fantastic studio unfortunately the day before has failed financially and we lack the funds to continue all the income received is being used to pay off debts to our partners ha isn't that funny yeah Great. Here's the real kicker, though. They're changing their goddamn name. They're changing their company name on Steam and everywhere. They're changing it to Eight Points. So in case you see that, if you ever see that name, Fantastic Eight Points, it is all associated. Do not buy that game. Fantastic is changing the name of their company. What is this? Oh, this is smart. Look at this. They changed the name of their company. So that way, people don't know it's them whenever they make a new game. They're trying to erase themselves from this, yet again, failure that they've created. I do want you to watch this, though, and just look at the title on screen. Fantastic. The developer, after a few days, has come out with their official statement. Fastest scam rug pull in game history. I don't want to say that this was a rug pull because they have been working, at least they say they have, have been working on it for five or so years. Now, if they actually were, then that's not the definition of a rug pull. Now, if they started working on it three, three months, months ago, ago, which very well possible, then yes, it is pretty much a rug pull. I do want to make this statement because I've made it before. I have made the day before, before in another video. It was definitely less glitchy than this. And I planned on making it to an even wider variety type of game. But if you guys want to actually see the day before that, the one that we were actually promised from day one, I will be that person to do that. The only thing that I need is the money. I don't have that right now. So if you want to blow this up, this video up, smash the like button. And I will guarantee you that if this video makes $100,000, I will find a developer to make the game for us. One that's not fantastic. No pun intended. There is also a donation link down below. Any money that gets donated to that link does not go to me. It goes towards making games for my actual gaming company. I am not BSing you 100%. I am trying to become a game developer and trying to start a game development company. So if you are interested in supporting that vision, I will keep you updated every step of the way.